Good night. I'm going to do the readings for today. We're on Thursday the 11th of July 2024. It is now 8.59. Well, it's almost 9pm then. I've had a break. For, I've uploaded yesterday's video and I'm going to begin with some... I'm not going to repeat the same prayers that I've already done. I'm going to... Um, do some from this prayer book that I've just picked up. Everyday prayers. I'll just do some night prayers and then just one or two others and then do the readings. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this night our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I confess to Almighty God, to Blessed Mary of a Virgin, to Blessed Mary, to Blessed Michael the Archangel, to Blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and to all the saints, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word and deed, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I beseech the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints to pray to the Lord our God for me. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on me, forgive me my sins, and bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God grant me pardon, absolution, and remission of all my sins. Amen. O oh my God, I believe that you are present here. I believe that you see all my actions, all my thoughts, and the most secret desires of my heart. I adore you and I love you with all my heart. I thank you for all the good things I have received from you, especially during this day. Give me light, my God, to see what sins I have committed this day and grant me grace to be truly sorry for them. And then you examine what you've done during the day and try to remember any sins you've committed. Act of contrition. O oh my God, I am sorry and beg pardon for all my sins and detest them above all things because they deserve your dreadful punishments because they have crucified my loving Saviour Jesus Christ and most of all because they offend your infinite goodness. And I firmly resolve by the help of your grace never to offend you again, and carefully to avoid the occasions of sin. Amen. Prayer for purity. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for me, who have recourse to you. And then one would say the Hail Mary three times, but because I'm going to read scripture, I'm not going to. In your hands, O Lord, I place my spirit. Lord Jesus, receive my soul. Holy Mary, be a mother to me. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph and all the saints pray for me to the Lord that I may be preserved this night from sin and all evils. Amen. O oh, my good angel, my guardian angel, whom God has appointed to be my guardian, watch over me during this night. All ye angels and saints of God, pray for me. Amen. May our Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Prayer for protection. Visit, we beg of you, 
O Lord, this house, and drive far away from it all the temptations of the enemy. Let your holy angels live here to keep us in peace, and let your blessing be always upon us. Amen. And for a good night's rest for those who like, um, I forget what, uh, Ellen, Ellen, she can't sleep at night at the moment for the pain. So, bless, O Lord, the sleep that I'm about to take and you're about to take, so that our bodies may be strengthened and our health increased, so that we may be better able to serve you. Amen. The evening offering. My dear Lord Jesus, I offer up to you the rest I'm going to take this night. I offer it in union with that eternal rest you enjoy in the union of the Father and the Holy Ghost in the Blessed Trinity and in union with the sleep and rest you took in this world while you were living here. I offer up to you every breath which I shall draw in this night and every movement of my heart. I beg that they may all be so many acts of love, praise, joy and thanksgiving to you in union with that adoration which will be given to you in heaven, tonight and for all eternity. I earnestly beg that your blessed mother and Saint Joseph and all the angels and saints may love and glorify you for me this night and throughout all eternity. Amen. And acceptance of death. O oh my God, I accept my death when it will come. As an act of honour and adoration which I owe to you, my Creator, I accept it as a punishment due for my sins in union with the death of Jesus Christ for me on the cross and as the only way and means that I can come to you, my beginning and my last end. Amen. So, the prayer of Saint Augustine, devotion to God. O Lord Jesus, let me know myself, let me know you, and desire nothing else but only you. Let me hate myself and love you, and do all things for the sake of you. Let me humble myself and exalt you, and think to myself and live in you, and take whatever happens as coming from you. Let me forget myself and walk after you, and ever desire to follow you. Let me flee from myself and turn to you, so that I may merit to be defended by you. Let me fear for myself, let me fear you and be amongst those who are chosen by you. Let me distrust myself and trust in you, and always pray for the love of you. Let me cling to nothing but only to you. Look upon me that I may love you, call me that I may see you, and forever possess you. Amen. And the prayer before reading Holy Scripture. Before reading sacred scripture, open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, guide us, work in us with your gifts so that your presence may be shown and we may serve in different ways for the good of all. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. So now I'm going to do the Thursday readings for 11th of July. 
the liturgical readings, St. Benedict Abbot, patron of Europe. The first reading is from the book of Proverbs and it's chapter 2, verses 1 to 9. Apply your heart to truth, my son. You take my words to heart if you set store by my commandments, tuning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to truth. Yes, if your plea is for clear perception, if you cry out for discernment, if you look for it as if it were silver and search for it as for buried treasure, you will then understand what the fear of the Lord is and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord himself is giver of wisdom. From his mouth issue knowledge and discernment. He keeps his help for honest men. He is the shield of those whose ways are honourable. He stands guard over the paths of justice. He keeps watch on the way of his devoted ones. Then you will understand what virtue is. Justice and fair dealing, all paths that lead to happiness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 33. And your response and mine is, I will bless the Lord at all times, or taste and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Response, I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me from all my tenderness. He set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called and the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them taste and see that the Lord is good he is happy who seeks refuge in him I will bless the Lord at all times revere the Lord you his saints they lack nothing those who revere him strong lions suffer want and go hungry but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 19 verses 27 to 29. Glory to you, O Lord. Everyone who has followed me will be repaid a hundred times over. Peter spoke to Jesus. What about us? He said. We have left everything and followed you. 
What are we to have then? Jesus said to him, I tell you solemnly, when all is made new and the Son of Man sits on his throne of glory, you will yourselves sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, brothers and sisters, father, mother, children or land, for the sake of my name, will be repaid a hundred times over and also inherit eternal life. Many who are first will be last and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the Gospel reflection will be on this Saint Day's Benedict, which is his feast day, 11th of July. He was the abbot patron of Europe and the reflection will still be on Matthew 19, 27 to 29, but we'll have a look at his life. I must have a sip of drink though, sorry. The first monks in Italy and Gaul followed Eastern models and rules which were usually marked by extreme austerity. It was Saint Benedict who adapted, he adapted monasticism to European needs and he laid the foundations of the great monastic system which bears his name. Benedict was born in Norcia, Italy, about the year 480, and as a youth he studied in Rome, disliking the licentiousness of the city and feeling that he had a special call from God. He retired to a cave at Subiaco, about 40 miles south of Rome. He lived there for three years. His manner of life attracted followers and this led to the establishment of a monastery at Subiaco, which still exists. Later, probably in 528 or 529, he went further south and he built the great abbey of Monte Cassino in the central Apennines. He remained there until his death in 547 and it's there that he drew up his famous rule for monks. The website of Mount St. Joseph's Abbey, Roscree, County Tipperary, Ireland, St. Benedict taught his monks the value of common life. They would often pray alone, but they would also pray and work together and show hospitality to visitors. Having left their families and home, the monks discovered a new family, the community of their brother monks and of the wider world. In response to Peter's questions in the Gospel reading, what about us? We've left everything to follow you. What are we to have then? Jesus promises his disciples that everyone who has left home and family for his sake will be repaid a hundred times over. Most of us are not called to leave home and family for Jesus' sake, yet there's always something we have to leave or let go of if we are to remain the Lord's faithful followers. Jesus assures us that if we are prepared to take this path of letting go for his sake, 
we will always receive more from him than we have to let go. So that's something worth listening to and uh, taking some thoughts to think about especially young people, those who are still in their faith. Would they like to be a monk or a nun? You never know. So after reading sacred scripture, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a living reality in my life, a constant guide, a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. Amen. And I'm just going to do the Glenstall Abbey evening prayer for Thursday. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Evening praise for the light. O joyful light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. Now that we have come to the sun's hour of rest, the lights of evening round us shine. We press, praise the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God. Worthy are you, O Lord, at all times to be praised with undefiled tongue, O Son of God, O giver of life. Therefore you are glorified throughout the universe. Psalm 61, but Romans 15 verses 1 to 3, unless it's 13 because my eyes are poorly. Uh, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 61 In God alone is my soul at rest. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you attack me or break me down as though I were a tottering wall or a stumbling frame? Fence Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessings, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, the great an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. That to God alone belongs power, and to you repay us all. According to our deeds, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The scripture reading is taken from 1 Corinthians fifteen twenty to 22 But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died, for since death came through a human being, 
the resurrection of the death has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so will all be made live in Christ. The word of the Lord. Prayers it can be silent now, but I'm going to do the Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat, and Psalm 112 words from it beforehand. Who is like the Lord, our God? the one enthroned on high, who stoops down from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth, Psalm 112. A reading from Luke 46 to 55. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. And from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has gathered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his child, his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And together we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. The concluding prayer. Lord God, ever faithful, See us gathered before you as the day draws to a close. Confirm our hearts in your love and keep alive in us in memory of your goodness and kindness which have appeared in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The final blessing may. God be merciful to us and bless us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And may the saint of the day pray for us. I believe it's, it's Benedict. So he will pray for us. I don't think there's any other prayer for that day. I'm just looking up. soon tell you June July so today is Saint Bon Saint Benedict Italy patron of Europe yes it's the only one Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And I couldn't do any more if I wanted to because my eyes are just getting really heavy with sleep. That I could feel it, the pull on the eyes, yeah. So um, 
I'm glad they weren't very long. It's only going to be about 30 minutes, so it's easy for you as well. But they're not always like that, is it? So God bless and good night and bye-bye. Somebody's just sent me a message. So I have to just... I can't see the thing to turn it off. I will now. God bless, good night.